Try to split two defenders there. You got to get rid of that basketball. Bacon hip to it. I'll tell you what, I think that pass was intended for Mo Bamba, who went to the trouble, the big guy, of running the floor. <laughs> and Anthony picked it off and got the hook. Two minutes to play here in the first. He hasn't driven in the last couple. He's allowed other guys to set him up for shots. You can count that for Maxi. We've seen much more varied offense from Mike Scott, I would say, the last, what, month or so of games. Reed taking it here against Prozdakis, who refuses to yield. That was actually pretty good defense by a guy who is three inches smaller. That is Randall, and he promptly hits the three. It's just awesome. It just shows you how great our game is and how much it's beloved globally. It is. The whole world has embraced it, and there are Pascal Siakams and Joel Embiid's Magic communicating on defense, switching size to size. And now, and I'm reminded of the Denver series and how key he was in handling. Ooh, that was a hook. Thornwell with the hook on Maxi. Join us at halftime. You're at Delaware Valley Accurate Dealers. As always, presenting Sixers Halftime Live. You know, I wasn't lying when I said he could go for 39, which he had. Anthony's got 23. It's three away from his rookie career high. There goes Maxi, his first miss. He's got the ability, 6'6", 220, and as we saw on Friday, he doesn't mind being physical. Yep. As Reed picks off the Maxi miss, but unable to put it back. Wow. Upset feelings would be directed towards his player. He pushed Nth through his elbow. So, so Thornwell 